Hey guys, Mike for Sim Racing 604 and today I'm going to be taking just a few minutes and going through a few steps that have really helped me improve the feel of Automobilista 2. If you've followed my channel for any length of time, you know I'm generally a fan of the way AMS 2 feels and I have been for a very long time, but it's always sort of had this lingering sort of floaty feeling, sort of a disconnection uh, with the track and I know a lot of AMS 2 fans will not agree with that, but just the same, even though I've been a fan of the sim, uh, I will say that there's always been this sort of distinction, this sort of feeling that was uh, different than AMS 1 and my personal favorite sim, Assetto Corsa. So I have helped narrow that gap with just a few simple steps. So I'm going to go through that today. And I just want to say first and foremost, a uh, huge thank you. Uh, this draws heavy inspiration and in fact is probably just a copy, just a cheap copy of a video posted by someone called Paprik. And I stumbled across this video over the holidays and um, this video was awesome. Uh, there's only two videos on this channel, but he's absolutely nailed uh, his his take on AMS2. And just a few easy steps should help you improve that uh, floaty or drifty feeling. So obviously we're here at the main menu. Uh, the first two steps simply involve your senses. So of course as sim racers, we have less senses to work with than do the real drivers. There's no seat of the pants feel. You can't feel yourself, well, unless you have a motion sim, I guess, but uh, generally you can't feel what the car is doing underneath you. You have to rely on your wheel, you have to rely on your eyes, and you have to rely on your ears. So the latter two, we're gonna make improvements to. So if I go under options, if I go under audio, you will notice I have tire volume down to zero. This is one of the uh, steps that I'll go through today. I would recommend you turn that tire volume all the way off or down lower. Because what happens in Automobilista 2 is the tire squeals are kind of uh, overdone, I would say. And uh, even though race cars naturally slide a little bit, um, that is part of slip angle, that is part of normal racing, the tire sounds in AMS 2 I think are misleading. It makes you think you're drifting more than you actually are. And when I first heard this, when I first heard Paprik talk about this, I was like, that's not going to make a difference, but it actually has. So try turning your tire volume down to zero. As you can see, I've got everything else set up the way it is. You don't need to worry about any of it, but I recommend turning the tire volume down or off. So that is step one. Easy step, obviously, non-destructive. Uh, the second thing we're going to go through um, is the camera settings. And then if we go into movement, you can see, like tire volume, I have this turned all off. The only thing I have set to yes is the legacy head movement. So this gives a very static camera, more like what you're probably used to in a Seto Corsa. A lot of people now using neck effects in a Seto Corsa. Uh, so if that is the case, you might want to add a little bit of movement. But again, like tire volume, I didn't think it would make a difference, but it did. So I've got everything set to zero, no and no for show helmet and helmet de depth of field and high speed shake off uh, again all to zero except legacy head movement and so we've covered audio now we're looking at the visuals and these are my settings that have helped the car feel more connected all right and we've just got one more step to go but uh, I need to go to my desktop to show you what that is so we start off at the Reza forum. So forum.rezastudios.com is where you'll want to start. And uh, there's general discussion. And then a little bit further down, there's Automobilista 2 general discussion. And that's what you want. So if you click that, and then right now it's the fourth one down, which is custom force feedback. Uh, but depending on the activity in the other forums, it may slide. But what you're looking for is the Automobilista 2 custom force feedback. Uh, thread. So you click that, there's 379 pages as of the time of this recording. Uh, so we actually want page 349, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. And we have full force feedback by JP. And this is what you want. So there are, uh, it's in version 8.1 as of the time of this recording. You can kind of see the history and what's been improved. Uh, so all you need to do is click that and it's going to save it to your downloads. So as you can probably guess from there, we need to open it. So all the way at the bottom of my downloads here, uh, I can see that force feedback custom settings, full force feedback ver version 8.1.txt is there. What you wanna do is either copy or move depending on your system. I am personally going to copy it. I am going to paste it into a different folder. So to get to this folder, you're gonna to go to one 
excuse me, you're going to want to go to your My Documents and then Automobile List of Two, and then you will see, what is there, seven or eight uh, different files here, including FFB custom settings. That will be there by default, and then you can choose to paste yours in here. As you can see now, we have Force Feedback Custom Settings and Force Feedback Custom Settings Full Force Feedback Version 8.1. Now. Um, important that the game references this file, Force Feedback Custom Settings. So what I'm going to do is take a backup of that. So I'm going to go ahead, right click and cut that. I am going to move to, uh, actually let's just put it on the desktop. So I'll just go ahead, right click, paste it to my desktop. Job done. So now we have this, but it's not correctly named. So I'm going to delete the Force Feedback version 8.1. So it is the same title that we had before we added the new file. So your file that you downloaded should be renamed to force feedback underscore custom underscore settings dot text. And that will allow Automobilista 2 to see your new force feedback profile. So that's all you need to do. So uh, again, this is the most complex step, but it's actually not that bad. Download the file from the forums, it's free. Uh, from your downloads folder, you'll want to move that over to uh, the Automobilista 2 folder within my documents, and then you are good to go. So let's go ahead and jump back in game and I'll show you what to do from there. So again, from the main menu here, we're gonna go to options, we're gonna go to controls, and then the rightmost tab is force feedback and you can see it's custom but uh, yours may say default plus or default those are two raises two uh, sort of standard uh, force feedback profiles and then if you go to the right you see custom that's all you need to do so when you tell it custom it's going to know to look for that uh, custom file you just added to that uh, my documents folder um, these are my settings based on uh, having the Moza R16, the new Moza R16. Yours is going to vary wildly and even those of you with an R16 will probably look at my settings and go, what are you doing? That doesn't seem right. Um, so force feedback is very unique. It's like clothing style or something. <laughs> Everybody wants something a little bit different. So uh, these are my settings. I find it's fantastic. I find my sense of connection with the road is much, much better, hugely improved. And uh, yeah, so these are my settings, but yours is going to vary. The one thing I would note is it's stronger force feedback generally. Um, so typically if I'm running the default or def default plus this would be kicked up somewhere around 60 but when I use the full force feedback by JP I tend to scale this down and for some reason 47 just seems like the magic number it's given me exactly the right amount of strength that I look for um, and then effects are higher than I thought they would be I thought I could run it a little bit lower um, but yeah 20 is where I've landed but yours again will be different but uh, it feels great so well done JP so those are the three steps I recommend you try it if you uh, don't like the quote-unquote flow feeling or drifty feeling you get from Automobilista 2 in general, uh, these are some steps that could help and uh, they are totally non-destructive. Again, just if you don't like what I've offered here, uh, just turn your tire volume back up, turn your uh, view settings back to what they were before and uh, just instead of custom, just go back to default, whatever you want. So uh, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Hope this helps. And uh, again, thank you to Paprik for showing these, uh, these settings. If you watch his video, and I've linked to it in the description, hope and uh, if you watch his video he goes a little bit further there's a few more steps you can do optionally uh, these are the three that really impacted me the most so I hope it helps thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time